Paylanders and everyone else, welcome to the fifth episode of the Nuremberg Track Day. I hope you're enjoying this series as much as I am making it because it's really great fun just driving around this amazing track, just in amazing cars, really. So, and yeah, today we are driving the Aston Martin Vantage. You may just see the astonishing Aston Martin symbol, which is just beautiful, but also. It was an extremely beautiful car to drive. The performance was just phenomenal. It just took the corners really well and just really smoothly. It just handled immensely well. I mean, just thinking back to how this car felt, it was just, God, I loved it so much. I mean, I know why it's my favorite car. It's just, this is the GT4 version, so it's not the GT3, so. The stats will be for the GT4, so, you know, just putting that out there. So, the stats about the Aston Martin Vantage GT4, which isn't the GT3, or the, I think it's the hybrid, I don't know which one it is, it's the electric one or whatever. Um, it comes with a great top speed at 188 miles per hour, that is a really, that is quite quick. I don't know if that beat the Audi R8, but... No, it didn't beat the Audi, right? But for the GT, it's probably one of the second or third best. But in my eyes, it is the best because with the overall stats that it has, it just, it just, just, just amazing, really. So, and let's also cut now onto the horsepower, and it's a nice, sizable amount, really. It's like 430 horsepower, which just makes it better off car, I mean, gets to the places it wants to quicker, I don't know what horsepower is, but you know, oh uh, yeah, just gonna move on very quickly, to the 100, or the 0 to 100, and the 100 to 0, which just covers the braking and acceleration, I'm not, I'm gonna leave you to guess which one's which, but you know, um, first of all, the 0 to 100, it comes in at like 3.79 seconds, which, it's not too bad, but it's kind of slow, but you can tell why it's slow to reach 100 miles per hour because of the weight of this thing, and it, the weight of it comes in around 3,196 3, pounds, which is really heavy if I must say so myself. But yeah, that's why it takes as long as it does to get to 100 miles per hour, because you obviously got to factor in the weight and whatnot. And that's why the 100 to naught is much quicker to be fair because it's a heavier car you got more weight behind the car stopping so it stops him at 2.36 seconds so yeah that is quite quick as i was saying you got the weight when you put your foot on the brake it just the weight of the car behind it just sort of stops and just pushes it all to the back and just, you know that's how a car brakes i mean i need to go into how a car brakes do i i sort of hit the barrier there my bad should probably edit that out, but you know, it's a good part to keep in. And also onto the torque, it has like 369 torque. I mean, I haven't looked into what torque is, but I'm just gonna say it has 369 torque, which is kind of funny because it's 369 and it's 69 as well. So, yeah, that's all the stats that I really needed because the wheelbase. I mean, who needs to know about wheelbase? I mean, really. If you want to know what about wheelbase, then yeah, I'll go back into the game and just take the stats out. That's what I'm going to say. All these stats are in Project Cars, and that's what Project Cars are telling me. So, if they're wrong in real life, it's because Project Cars told me what they were. Okay, I'm only going off the in-game stats, okay? So don't have a hissy fit, or whatever. I know most of you don't have a hissy fit, because my comments are pretty dry, so yeah. Who cares? But going around this corner, I really felt like I was going to spin out this time, but just keeping a steady 50 to 60 miles per hour around there just sort of helps really when it needs to be done or whatever. So, you know, I just left that in. Just going around these corners, this is a really beautiful track. I know you're seeing it from the cockpit view because just to make it look a bit, well, um, what the word? Uh, pardon me. Realistic? Not realistic. I mean, you're sitting in a cockpit view, like you're actually in the car. So instead of on the outside of the car, you're like, just literally like, oh yeah, he's going on the track. 
but no, I put you inside the car just to make you like, oh yeah, I'm actually inside here. So when I don't know, I, I just did it for reasons unknown, really. I'm taking that corner a bit wide though, didn't I? Jesus. Yeah, I'm going through that. But yeah, so that's all I have to say for now. And I'm just gonna put some music on and let the rest of it roll. Okay. And I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, thank you. Leave a like. Subscribe. You know. It helps me out a lot just to start growing, really. Share it to. I just want to share it to get notified, but you know. It's kind of hard getting found on YouTube nowadays because it's kind of a saturated market, really. I mean, I'm, I know I'm doing it for fun, but. I'd like to do it for like a hobby for the rest of my life and hopefully make something out of it as a side job or something, I don't know. I just hopefully in a couple of years time, you know. I'll have much better content and much better editing skills and why not. So yeah, um that's from years from now, but you know, it'll be a couple of years until I get note for it or whatever. But yeah, I'm just gonna let some music roll for the last few seconds and peace guys and see you in the next one.